Hi, I'm Chris from Helpdesk. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to rig the camera in Blender to enable smooth and realistic camera movements. If you're like I was when I first started using Blender, you might think, sure, I'll align the camera, set a keyframe, move along the timeline, adjust the camera again, and set another keyframe. While that approach technically works, it's a destructive workflow that will cause headaches with every change you make. What you want to do is create a camera rig with very few keyframes, giving you the flexibility to make adjustments even late in the creative process. Start by adding a path curve with Shift A. Our camera will move along this curve later on. The curve is calculated based on the average positions of the anchor points. Try to create broader curves. If the curves are too tight, the camera movements will become bumpy and unesthetic. Once you're satisfied, go to the camera panel, navigate to the constraints tab and add a follow path constraint. Select the newly created curve as the target for the constraint. Now you need to set the camera's position to zero so there's no offset and the camera sits precisely on the curve. And voila! Now you can move the camera along the curve by adjusting the offset in the follow path constraint. If you now set a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and another at the end, you'll already have a decent camera movement. But of course the camera isn't looking where it needs to yet. We'll fix that right away. With Shift S, you can move the 3D cursor to the origin of Bart. There, we'll create an empty using Shift A and lift it to Bart's eye level with G and Z. This is our camera target. To aim the camera at the target empty, we'll add a Track to constraint and use the eyedropper to select the empty as the target. Now the camera will always aim at the target empty, no matter where it is along the curve. And you can still adjust the camera's path without needing to set any keyframes. That's exactly how it should be. This works great with just one object. But what if the camera needs to aim at multiple objects along the path? Well, here's how it works. You build the curve as you need it, and once it's set, you assign each object its own target empty. Once you've done that, add two more Track 2 constraints to the camera. One for Marge and one for Homer. Turn down the influence of both of them for now and select the respective empties as targets for each constraint. Now set keyframes for the influence value of each track to constraint on the timeline at the point where the camera should switch targets. Perfect. Now we have successfully created a functional and flexible camera rig with just a few keyframes. What's missing now is a smooth depth of field to beautifully isolate our objects. Let's add that real quick. At Bart's target empty, we'll create a new empty and name it focus target. The focus target will get its own constraints, specifically copy location constraints. Each target empty will have its own copy location constraint. And the influence for each copy location constraint should initially be set to zero except the first. In the camera panel, check the depth of field box and select the focus target empty as the focus object. Now adjust the aperture size to create a nice smooth blur effect. And now you just need to keyframe the influence value of the copy location constraints for your objects at the right points in the timeline. So the focus is always correctly set. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more useful tips.